guys, it's Firefly Carrie, and we are back again with The Walking Dead. We are on episode four, and Fine. we are well, yeah. back. We're okay. We're picking up literally pickup, right where we left off. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. We gotta get those pills. So let's uh let's try going out again. Uh let's see, let's find Glenn. There he is. That's how he's doing. How you, doing Glenn? you know. Well, there we go. Okay. What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Uh, oh! Back to the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. That's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, Good for you, Glenn. Good. That's 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 the kind of you attitude it, you know? we need. You said give her the gun. I know I did. Why the hell would you do that? Mercy, man. I couldn't let her go on like that. We couldn't. You never know. You can't give up hope. I think it was over for her, Glenn. Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know. I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. Okay. So I'm trying to get some rest. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean <clears throat> I mean, I would want someone to off me How we doing? before I Good. turned into a walker. Wanna go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Can't reach that brick. Come on. All right. We break that lock off, and I can get out onto the street. Awesome. The axe. Now to distract those things carefully. You guys try to get in there and get weapons. Um, we did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch hmm. of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Okay, so we gotta get to that guy. I can't brick. reach that brick. The brick. We need to. Uh... Now I can reach the brick. <clears throat> Alright, now where do we... There, that's what we need to do. Sneak off and be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Hey, bud. Oh, man. I don't know what happened to mom and dad, but I know if you were there, I would have died for them. That's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. I'm sorry. I'm 
sorry I wasn't here. But knowing you to take care of him from all of it, that helped. There we go. Holy crap! Run! Oh crap! We're in. We're safe. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Yeah, let's get in there. There we go. Oh no. Shit. We gotta hurry. Oh man, the alarm! The alarm! That's going to bring a lot of walkers to us. Alright. Oh, man! Come on, baby, time to go. I'm going to get the truck pulled up round back! Do it fast. i got to get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly-dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Guys, that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Stay away from the windows. Okay. All right, we got it. Hey, Lee, if we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. Thanks, Doug! Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should go. There we go. I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Shit! On it. Are you sure? Shit! Oh, shit! Okay, then. Give it time. Can you look for something to stick in between the hands? Something really strong, okay? Okay. Oh, man. Shoot it! 
Carly. I thought I thought that she had the gun. She could save herself. Oh man. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. <sighs> when we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. Like the girl from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. Bye, Glenn. So we've seen Herschel and we've seen Glenn. So, oh man, let's uh, hey, kid. let's go talk to Kenny. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah. Yes, we, we do. do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah. Earlier, I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still <laughs> think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. Thanks, Kitty. You got it. Alright, so... Those two can't be talked to. Oh, God. Let's go talk to Doug. How you doing, Doug? Doug? We couldn't save her, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I... I know it's stupid. We just met. It's dumb. But, uh, I mean, it's, it's probably just that survivor thing. I really liked her. I'm sorry, Doug. It's okay. Thanks, though. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? 
What is it, buddy? How did you choose? I mean, we both needed you. Uh... You picked me. I thought you needed help. No. I guess that makes sense. But it wasn't a choice like that. It, it was just something I did. I don't know why. I just wish you would have picked her. Uh, I wish I would have picked her too. Let's go check on Clam. Dumatron had this minigun on his shoulder. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey, Duck. Uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay. Sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need mm -hmm. to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Ugh. Let me go deal with this. God. Oh, man. Clementine, another thing. Oh, Doug, do shut want? up. You like my daughter? Her dad tried to kill me, so. Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That reporter is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. Man. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch, could stay here until the military rolls through. I mean, that's true. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. That's... Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Oh my god. So this is ep that is episode 1 and next time on The Walking Dead. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? Keep it. Hey, I owe you a lot more than a half-eaten candy bar. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. Don't repeat what happened with the walkers at Herschel's farm. You choose the kids this time. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. Fuck with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! You would never lie to my dad. Even back at the drugstore, whenever you thought Teddy's kid was fit, you went out of your way to side against him. This isn't happening. <laughs> no more, please. No more, please. Lee, please. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. I am in the low percentiles this time. Uh, 
Well, I guess next time on the next episode, we'll uh, keep going forward with episode two. So, I'll see y'all around. Bye. Be good, stay safe, but always have fun.